Most of you guys are used to seeing that side of the garage, the pallet wall. But actually, as you pan this way, that goes into our home. And here is the heater. So it's an old wall mount Montgomery Ward heater. I'm gonna have to salvage some of those stickers if I can. Especially the ride the key one on. That's a good one from the Vansville bar. Nonetheless, you can see the vent stack, the triple wall vent going up through the roof. So originally, this vent stack used to vent kind of going out behind the house there. And when we brought the vent stack up, it really changed the updraft. And down here, you'll see, this is a little spot for the pilot light. Let's see if it's on. I'm loosen this thing up. Ooh, you can actually see the pilot light in there. So what happens in the winter time is when we get really gusty winds, the pilot light blows out because of that updraft. So we're gonna put a new heater up over there in that corner. So this is it. This is the old Montgomery Ward heater. Let's see if I can get a serial number or something like that. There it is. It's been good, but it's time for the upgrade. So this is the new Modine Hot Dog 45,000 BTU heater. We're going to fly and suspend this from the ceiling. We're still gonna try to figure out its exact positioning where we can really manage the exhaust gas kind of conveniently without doing too much work so its true position is yet to be determined but i'm excited about this because this little unit smaller more efficient it's going to use a little less gas and uh ultimately it's going to help me do my job this winter so i'm gonna get this thing going and start demolition on ripping out the old heater here the old one's got to go and we're gonna have to shut the gas off for a little bit until we move some of the framework so we're gonna keep going here with this All right, units up, day two. Shop's all put back together, I'm very excited. I'm gonna turn it on, let's see what happens. It might not go on right away because I warmed it up in here. But anyways, let's just talk about it while it's warming up, right? Um, very happy with the footprint. I think most importantly, I'm all about functionality in a small space. Um, I'm gonna do a lot more videos about how to make a small space function and I think that's what I like most about this heater. It's low profile, uh, it's out of the way, and for this small unit, this uh, my garage here is uh, just under 700 square feet. So it does a, a great job. Five minutes, it was 70 degrees in here. So I will be curious to see how it works. And here it goes, it's priming. I will be curious to see how well the job it does when it's say 10 degrees outside and I got the door open for five or more minutes and it gets really cold in here close the door and get it back up to temperature so maybe we'll do another video on that but now that the unit is up it's running I can go ahead and finish the pallet wall theme across the other side here and uh, finish my little work bench area and carry it across here 
Hear that? Electronic ignition. That's nice. My old heater, I used to always have to relight the pilot. That's no fun. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and carry the uh, my work desktop over so I can work out here in the wintertime and make more videos. So thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you soon. See you on the next video. See you soon.